now. Okay. Remember I told you we got quickly, bro, we burn the ships on it. Cause I am the kind of bro that's about going to get it. You understand me? Going to get it. I'm not 25, I've got time to waste and I don't have that. Uh, I got I got two babies. I'm gonna see you show you guys um, some pictures of them. I got I kids. Alright. First I just wanna say sisters. I love you. I love you. And I'm gonna spend the next few minutes explaining to you why I love you. And what you mean to me. And I hope that in some way if I've said anything that's good, anything that's positive, anything that's inspiring, anything that makes you understand just how much I love you. That this message that's coming from me is also something, if it's good, that many of our brothers feel as well. And I'm sure the great majority of them do. I love you. I love you because before I came into this world, I was just in my mother's womb. I fell in love with your voice. The black woman's voice, the black African woman's voice. That voice is so unique and special that when we all hear it, we know that's a sister. That beautiful, sweet voice that when we hear it, when we're in the womb, in our mother's stomach, She's praying for us to be healthy and for us to have a good life. You're going to love that voice and know that that voice is the voice of strength, the voice of love, the voice that is giving us life. I love that voice, the natural voice, the natural voice of the black African woman speaking any language that she's learned over the world. And then adding her own flavor and color and dynamic to the sound of that language. So that it's unique, no matter what language it is, it's hers, the black African woman. I love that voice and I love you in all your natural tones. Yes, yes. And beautiful black woman, goddess. Queen, go ahead and do homework. Mother, sister, auntie, cousin, friend, ah. lover, soulmate. You woman, black woman, in all of your unique and rare beauty. Love you. Love you. They can enjoy that. So that's what I'm doing.